Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good? Let's discuss this, man. Lord Jamar said he agrees with Kendrick Lamar about Drake using the N-word. Check this out. Oh, I ain't never <laughs> seen that shit. <laughs> but what I heard Kendrick say, I didn't hear it in the song, I didn't hear him say, he can't say nigga. I heard him say, it's cringeworthy when he says nigga. Yes. That's what I heard. Mm. He said okay. that. He definitely said that. Yeah. And I totally agree. It is cringeworthy. You know why it's cringeworthy? Why it's cringeworthy? Because this nigga don't talk like a nigga. Okay? <laughs> this nigga, like, have you seen the different accents that Drake yes. possesses? Yeah. Yeah. There's a Jamaican Drake. Yeah. Yeah. British There's Jamaican, a fucking, right. There's a yeah, Drake British Drake. Drake. There's a British white, Drake. regular, like, Jewish fucking drake <laughs> and then there's this fucking atlanta drake there's a, oh there's also a toronto drake because they got a little fucking um slang it's crazy i think he just named five to six to seven different drakes who is the real drake and what do the real drake sound like for real for real hang up there too yeah like so all these different drakes that this motherfucker comes out with like but i've seen it seems like his real the way he really talks is like yeah you know and then uh that's, you know that's the real voice that's the real voice and then i was thinking that you know maybe i could invest my stocks in a 401k and that way <laughs> my, it would really mature in such a way that's how the nigga talk yeah. then all of a so there are videos out there of drake talking to his grandmother and his and it's his real accent voice. Now that was the uh, now that that's the that's the real Drake man. Son, it's like when it's time to get on the record. It's like yeah, shawty. Like you know, like all of a sudden he got this little twang in his voice, right. yeah, and right. now that's when he's talking all this nigga, nigga, nigga shit. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's almost if you. I never you thought know. of it until Kendrick said that. Like. He do it's, got those accents, and I didn't like them accents. It's worthy slash like insulting, yeah, 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 yeah. and the only reason why he kind of gets away with it is because his father's black. But here's the thing: he didn't grow up with his father. He grew up with his mama, with his. So that's very interesting. Just because you was born. With a black parent does not necessarily make you from the culture. You are from the culture if you are raised up in it. Once again, the culture is in you, not on you. It's white mama in a white neighborhood. So again, it makes it clear. I could see if you was one of these mulattoes mm. that grew up in a black yeah, neighborhood right, 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 with a right, black right. family yeah, around yeah. black people and that was part of your vernacular growing up. You ain't really start saying nigga in this kind of way yeah, yeah. until you started rapping. Yeah. Mm. Before that, you were saying, I hate these niggers. <laughs> <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. So let, let me say this, because it just came to mind. So there are white people, Asian people, Latino, Hispanics, or whatever racial group, ethnicity that were raised up in the culture. So let me get that point clear. Oh, boy. <laughs> Before you were like, I'm not like these other niggers. <laughs> With the ER. <laughs> With the hey, ER. Hey, hey, I'm Jewish just like you. Don't look at me like these niggers. Right. That's how he said it. Mm -hmm. that, that's yeah. how he sounded. <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm just that telling you, man. Right, did you think of that right before that. or after? Like, was it cringeworthy? Did it did because it's probably always been cringeworthy, like yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But 
certain shit you you know yeah. you kind of forget yeah, yeah you hear yeah, the records yeah. on the radio yeah, yeah. more than you yeah. hear him actually speaking yeah so it's like eh, you know mm -hmm. that yeah. shit is catchy he does make some catchy shit who, who cares right when it gets to uh when it comes to music at a certain point you just want to jam out relax unwind party and you're not thinking about all the different uh, accent that uh, he raps with. You know, we can't front on that. Yeah. Nigga do make some catchy fucking shit. Do we? Mm -hmm. But then when you hear him talk, and especially around white people, especially when he got on Saturday Night Live and all that type of shit, like, that's when he was trying to really show them no, see, I'm not like the rest of these niggers. Mm. I'm different. You saw the little, <laughs> the little shit, the little clip of him and Rosenberg. And and Rosenberg was like, "Do you know how big you're gonna be in the Jewish community?" And fucking Drake said, "Do you know how big I'm gonna be?" Right. Yeah. Mm. Back to him. Like nigga, I know. Like they already yeah. told me. Like, like yeah, yeah. I've received the blessing. They already the gave me the Illuminati. Yeah, aware of this. Wink, right. wink. Right. You about to be the man. Right. And now fast forward. Yeah, he's one of the biggest yeah, rappers. Bro. Is 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 Yasin Bey statement ring even truer now? When he was saying that Drake's. So let, let me say this, man. Drake is really creepy. That is a creepy ass nigga, man. They want to talk about most death. This fool is confirming everything Kendrick is saying. He goes and follow most death's daughter on Instagram as soon as she turned 18. Think, think about that. He was stalking that girl Paige. Stalking, man. That's sick. Music is like, what he said, Target? It's just in the oh, background. Target music, like, yeah, that you playing And target. it has, like, it has no... It has pop. no depth to it and it has no, no substance soul, and stuff no like soul, that. Really. I mean, yeah, it's just, but he, he he shouldn't have said that with a skirt on. That's the only thing. Like he, <laughs> yeah, fuck. He, <laughs> he, <laughs> he fucked up the impact of what he said. He had a skirt on when he said that. <laughs> so, the messenger was wrong, right? If that same message would have came from Kendrick Lamar, it would have hit different. Right? That message came from most deaf. A lot of people blew it off. But if it came from Kendrick Lamar, we'll be discussing it right now. He fucked up the impact of what he said by wearing that shit. Like, you can't say a nigga not real and then do some <laughs> not real nigga shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, can't do that oh, <laughs> but I you know other than that I usually love yeah most def mm -hmm. Yasin Bey right. yeah as a rapper yeah you know what I mean he's, dope. he's super he's, dope. he's a good actor too yes yeah, he is yeah, he's a yeah, really good actor yes he man. is Word, people hell, sleep yeah. on that but his movies was, was really good and powerful Word. speaking of that because you was talking about Kendrick can it be a possible? Is it is it possible? Because you was in a major label, on a major label. Is it possible to be conscious and profitable at that level? It's a good question. I can't tell you that because it's never happened to me like that. Mm -hmm. To be profitable, I just looked up. I just I just looked up a, a few like. Out. I'll say yes because uh, uh, Ken Kendrick uh, doing it right now. Fits. You know, and I feel like if I got to wear stuff like this, like, oh, oh. I don't this know if I want to be profitable yeah. like that. Like, Kendrick you know, with the crown and the like you gotta bell bottom put shoes. That on the thing when he show it, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but Chuck D and them, I guess, were probably the last almost profitable ones if Karis won. 
being conscious and stuff like that. I can't think of nobody. I'd say, I'd say, who? I'd say, I'd say. So I'm gonna end it right there. Shout out to the Thanks for Asking podcast. This is a reaction video. Thanks for having Lord Jamar on your platform. Shout out to you guys. So yeah, I totally agree with everything Lord Jamar said uh, in his video. Let Joe Button talk about this. Are you were you raised in the culture? Did you play basketball with crates? Did you have a nickname growing up from the hood, from the culture? Right? Did you did you walk to the corner store? Did you play hide and go get it? Did you play football in the streets, man? Did you pop lock, dance, whatever that's from the culture? Did you do it as a kid? If you can't answer that question, the, the answer is no. Let me know what you think. Like, comment. I'm out of here.